I've been told, and I've met over the years, many, many, many different groomers that have groomed everywhere, and they say this is the toughest hill to groom in the country. This mountain is unlike any mountain. The amount of maintenance that it requires for the lifts to spin, for the general public to get up, the maintenance required is amazing. Seamless corduroy, 80 mile an hour corduroy. That's what we shoot for every night. You can't leave ridges, you can't leave holes, you can't leave windrows. There's no need to get more, I get what I got and that's good. The morning a.m. shift starts at 12.30 and goes till opening. The other shift starts at 4.30 when they close the lift and goes till we come in. It takes a lot of getting used to. It's a lot easier when you're uh, a lot younger than I am, actually. <laughs> I'm 12.30 uh, a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Get off at 8.30 and you're right there at the mountain when it opens at 9. It's cool to go hit your own runs that you did, ski your own corduroy. There's so much more to it than people think. It takes years to become a good groomer and you never quit learning. 27 years, I've still learned stuff. We're up there in all sorts of weather. That's probably one of my funnest parts of the job is being up there when it's 50, 60, 70 miles an hour and you're expected to go up there, to do it, to do your job, to leave the corduroy or to dig out the lift. Ski Patrol's gotta be there in the morning, so we get to go up there and clear it out all night. That's one of the most amazing things. A winch cat is a specialized snow cat that's used when the terrain steepness requires the assistance, both going uphill and downhill, of the winch. We use various kinds of winch cat anchors. Some of the anchors are natural. Other winch cat anchors are drilled into the rocks here with five winches a night. It's a, a, a pretty stout winch program, and in the lower 48, there's really nothing like it. There's definitely a pride, and the, the corduroy that you leave being a skier, you, even if you can't ski the next day, you know how it's gonna ski in the morning. Yeah, there's a lot of pride. It's a great feeling to know that that looks that good, and you did it, you know, and everybody's gonna love skiing it that day. Yeah, it gets in your blood, um, grooming does. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't groom. I'd go crazy. <laughs>